How's it going, y'all? It is your boy Nightmare Zen, and coming back to you again with some more season three breakdowns for Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, we're gonna be talking about Bardock for us today. This character, straight out the gate, super strong, really annoying, and in some ways, y'all are y'all already know the memes. You know, five L L L the game. Uh, this character, like I said, he's, he's been strong. Um, even with adjustments that have happened to him, he still has remained really vigilant of a character. One that you have to go about looking out for has a lot of good stuff. Um, he goes about bringing to the table. I don't expect for them to go about doing a whole lot with him. Uh, if anything, I kind of expect for him to hit him over the head. You know, just because of how strong he's been. But let's see um, what they went about doing to Bardock. I did this this list is not that big <laughs> all right so uh, rebellion spirit medium version increased land recovery uh, seven there's a camera shift uh, change the hit effect during camera shift so assuming yeah so bam um what some people would go about doing this beforehand um, would use this Do like something like that. I mean, this isn't really the worst thing in the world because you can still like, you know, do some type of like, you know, setups off of it. It's not the worst thing in the world for sure. All right, uh, rebellion spirit heavy reduced block stun, recovery, re and the attacks on tech time. Oh man. I'm pretty sure that this was just due to the fact of uh, the EX moves costing like less, but that still hurts. Let's say this move was uh, pretty nice. It's so not like this move is is worse overall in some ways. So I don't even say so. Like overall, like this the move is bad. If it's blocked. I mean, luckily, it's only negative five, so you're giving up your turn. But yeah, something do have to keep in mind. All right, uh, let's see. Tyrant Lance just sped up the timing during which the move is strengthened by holding the button. Change the hit effect during camera shift. All right, cool. So they they buffed this. It's cool. I like the fact of um, them speeding this up. And so now, off of this, uh, can still like vanish, get a knockdown. Cool. All right, Riot Javelin increase untech the time adjusted the range of the mid-air down version and the blowback of it increased the time the player is able to perform a ultimate z change during the mid-air version all right uh with this one i think is is good because there were some points in times like if you were pretty high up and you were doing this not like that because you know You'd be able to like, um, you still be able to like be your super and whatnot, but because of how high that you were, you could make as far as like some DHC situations a little weird. So now you just have a bigger window to actually like do that now, which is cool. All right, um, and his first assist they they made. They buffed his assist. What? Okay, so Rebellion Spear, they, uh, they gave it more hit stop. So that's cool. Didn't think they would buff that, but okay. Alright, let's see. With assist B for Bardock, we have Tyrant Lancer. This one is pretty 
interesting because it actually it tracks the person. Um, Gut Punch does a lot of uh, of hit stun as well. As you see, there's a lot of a um, lot of advantage there. A lot of advantage there from this move, and pretty easy to combo off of. So nice assist. I didn't think they would give him the gut punch as an assist to be honest, but the way they have it structured is pretty strong indeed. All right, and they have a rebellion combination. It comes from the sky, the medium version of rebellion sphere. And then goes about uh, hitting with like the last part of uh, that spin move that he does. What what is that thing called? Uh, Cause I, I don't know the name of moves. I really don't. Raging Meteor. All right, yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is cool because uh, it does track in the air. So you can use it for that case. Um, I would say really the only bad thing about this one is that sometimes it'll miss like that. It doesn't seem to have like the best downward hitbox to it. Or maybe just the tracking could be a little off. Either way, um, it does cause for some situations like that for you to easily go about missing this sometimes. Uh, so that's kind of the, the tragic part with it. You can take advantage of it for sure. Um, I do think that it still having that property is nice, but it's just something to be a little bit wary of. If you're gonna use it, make sure to, you know, get those timings down of when that you want to use them in combo, just so you don't have that type of scenario happen. Uh, all duty assists are pretty good though, so whichever one you choose, you know, you can't really go too wrong. Um, I'm probably gonna be sticking with. Uh, with the first one because uh, I, I do like Rebellion Spear so but it, like I said any one of them that you choose is good uh, in regards to Bardock though um, not a whole lot has changed still gonna be doing the same things to people um, besides like the EX move um, which is pretty understandable uh, the only thing that really changes is land recovery on medium version of Rebellion Spear, so he's pretty much the same character. Entire Lancer being a little bit quicker to charge up, it's cool. Yeah, Bardock is still Bardock, he's still doing Bardock things. You know, so... The, the party still is going. I guess I, I'm still going to be playing Bardock this season. <laughs> Anyways though, how y'all feeling about Bardock? Uh, I think he should have been hit over the head harder. Uh... Do you, you think that this character is, is fair? You know, like, tell me how y'all feeling in the comment section. Um, y'all know the YouTube lingo, of course. I like, comment, subscribe. Y'all take that share button, though. Until next time, y'all, it's been your boy. Y'all take care, okay? Ah!